Hari Om, we are starting the program now. Uh, request everyone to assemble at Panchvati. Hari Om, we are starting the program now. May I request everyone to assemble at Panchvati. Jai Jai Ram Om Shri Ram Jai Ram 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 Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Om Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Om Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Om Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Hari Om to one and all. At the outset, we offer our humble homage, respect, reverence to all the Mahatmas who have been pouring their grace and blessings on all of us all this while. Today happens to be the most important occasion for all of us, the spiritual children of Pujya Papa Ramdas. We have all assembled here in Anand Ashram for the sannyas centenary of our beloved Papa. The very existence of Anand Ashram is because of the transformation that happened to Sri Vithal Rao into Ramdas, and then from Ramdas, 
to Swami Ramdas on 27th December 1922. Again, it was only because of this reason that we got our Param Pujya Mataji and our Param Pujya Sachidanan Swamiji. Last year, when Sanya's centenary year was coming closer, we were all wondering what would be uh, an appropriate way to commemorate this momentous occasion. Beloved Papa, guided from within, inspired all of us to take up an intense, in-depth study of his first book, In Quest of God. At a first glance, this seems like a simple narrative of a yatra written in a very interesting, witty manner. But as we went into the in-depth study of it, many instances being so relatable to our everyday lives started emerging and made us think about our own reactions in our own daily lives and situations. One whole year of Chintan and Manan on the various chapters of IQG and walking on this pathway with our beloved Papa made us realize that the common thread which was running through all the chapters of IQG was that constant remembrance of and complete surrender to higher power are the only answers for making our lives peaceful, blissful, and purposeful. The text starts with the article about Ram. Papa introduces God to us. He makes us aware what God is about. In the first chapter, he portrays a picture of a person passing through severe stress in life. And by the last chapter, we see that he has come into a state of complete serenity. This metamorphosis of the individual from stress to serenity is the journey that each of us have to make. With this in view, during the next seven days, we have a series of programs lined up. However, let us remember that this is not just a program. This is a collective sadhana that is also going to give our individual sadhana an equal amount of boost for the coming period. We are very blessed to have amongst us Param Pujya Swami Pad Padmanabhananji Maharaj, who has been closely associated with the ashram for several years. Before we begin the program, we have one more request to make to everyone. You may have observed there are 30 display boards which are there um, on the pathway across the gallery. Uh, this is the entire journey of Param Pujya uh, Papa which he made starting from Mangalore and when he ended back to Mangalore. Uh, you may want to e read each one of the board because it has precious words of wisdom and it is immensely helpful for all of us to, in a way, small way, assimilate the essence and depth of each uh, quote and each wisdom, uh, word of wisdom. And this is going to slowly help us give a mild reminder and a nudge when we go on our inner journey from stress to serenity. <laughs> 